Hello everyone and welcome back to Destiny. Of course it is day one of Warmind. We are all jumping into the campaign and enjoying the content. But of course, the big thing with this expansion is that there seems to be lots more secrets for us to discover. There is of course secrets that will lead us to what we believe is the Sleeper Simulant. But we're also starting to discover another secret weapon that none of us had expected to see inside of Destiny 2, at least not anytime soon. And that weapon is the Black Spindle. So in this video, we'll take a brief overview of the secrets that are currently being discovered inside of the game, in addition to something that I found very particular that might be leading us down to the Spindle. Let's get into it. So jumping right into it, we have these data caches that are strewn about the whole destination of Mars. There are 45 of them on this map, and essentially to claim them, you have to shoot them with a matching element. So you're going to have ones that are arc, void, and solar. You're going to have ones that are kinetic, and you're also going to have ones that require the Valkyrie. And of course, those will be glowing with the little nanites around them, so you'll know how to break those. So essentially, once you get all 45, that is when a lot of people think we're going to be getting our hands on the Sleeper Simulant, or at least the next step in the quest to get the Sleeper Simulant. And yes, if you're not aware by now, the Sleeper Simulant has been confirmed to be in the game because of the ornament that is available for it at Eververse called Hypnopompic. So there's the gun rendered in all of its destiny to glory. Now, of course, the data caches are not the only secrets in the game. We also have these Warmind boxes that all require override frequencies. So it'll be interesting to see how we attain those frequencies and what is inside them. Will it just be lore? Will it be a new collectible? Will it be towards a new quest? It's really hard to say. But I'm definitely going to be skipping the power grind for the rest of the day and try to figure out all of these secrets because I really want to get my hands on some of these new exotics. Now, there does seem to be a location on Mars that will receive the data caches as soon as we collect all 45, and it is located right here, very close to where you start the Warmind campaign, and if you just find your way off of the cliff, you'll stumble upon a secret cave. Now, yours is going to have a Vanquisher, I already defeated mine before I got a chance to record it, but essentially, once you get past the Vanquisher yellow bar, you will be greeted by this very interesting case that is against the wall. Getting up close to it says Pavonis, 45 cache data required. So there's a very good chance that these 45 caches that are strewn about the destination will be opening this case. What is inside? Well, there's a very good chance it's the Sleeper Simulant. But it could also be something completely different. Just because the Sleeper Simulant is in the game doesn't mean that this is the quest line for it. But of course, only time will tell. Now, aside from all the Rasputin-themed secrets, there does seem to be one Hive-themed secret, which is potentially very exciting. In fact, I know it's factually very exciting. But the weird thing is, I discovered this while trying to queue up for Heroic Strikes. Essentially, I just selected Heroic Strikes from the director, and I was just looking over the modifiers, and then all of a sudden, the Heroic Strikes indicator went away, and Strange Terrain was queued up in front of me instead of Heroic Strikes. We could never have before selected a individual strike, so I'm not sure if this is a bug, a weird feature, or if it's some weird secret that I discovered or someone else has also discovered around the same time. So I'm not really sure exactly what this indicates. I played the strike through and, you know, nothing really happened. We defeated Nakris again and we completed the strike. There's no exclusives, nothing fancy, no indications. So maybe there's a secret section of this strike that we have yet to discover. But regardless, what we do know is that there is a secret exotic quest for the Black Spindle. That's right, the Black Spindle from Destiny 1, everyone's favorite sniper rifle, is making its way back to Destiny 2. This was confirmed by the Dana mining of a exotic catalyst for the Black Spindle. So whenever we attain the Black Spindle, there's going to be an exotic masterwork version of that gun. Now, of course, the other possibility is literally any other mission in the game that has to do with the Taken, or maybe not. Just because it was acquired by defeating Taken in the first game, doesn't mean it's going to be the same in the second game. Of course, it's not a Taken weapon, it's a Hive-themed weapon, 
But either way, it does seem to be that that is the super, super secret weapon that I thought we would be getting in the game alongside everything else that was already shown to us. So I'm very excited to finally get our hands on the Black Spindle again. I think it's definitely going to shift the meta and things like the raid. So I'm very excited to see how that affects the game. But let me know in the comments below if you found any other secrets, anything else I've missed. Of course, I'll be spending all day looking at this, so definitely hit me up on Twitter, at FutureFoe, if you find anything interesting, so we can pursue this and find all of these juicy little secrets. Anyways, drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And I will see you all next time.